Hello friends, Angela here and welcome to Module 9, How to Use Amazon's Pay-Per-Click Advertising Platform, also known as PPC. Pay-Per-Click is an advertising method wherein the advertiser, that's you, the seller, only pays for the ad after a potential shopper clicks on the ad to view your product. Now if properly created and managed, a PPC campaign on Amazon can help you sell more inventory faster while increasing your organic rankings as well. In this episode, I will outline all the PPC optimizations that I use to boost my profits as much as possible for my private label products on FBA. Starting from the beginning, let's break down exactly what Amazon's paid search is and what it looks like. Amazon receives millions of searches every month, with a majority of searches being long tail searches. This means searches consisting of three words or more. People don't go to Amazon to window shop. They know exactly what they want. They go there to find it, and then they buy the one that looks best to them. Amazon will show the shopper products that it deems most likely to satisfy their search query. These are called organic results. Then there are the paid results, which you will see mixed in with the organic results. Anytime you do a product search on Amazon, you will see a product listing with the word sponsored in small letters next to the product title. That means Amazon has placed this listing higher in the search ranks and the seller of this item is going to pay Amazon if you click on their product listing. Amazon PPC supports increased rankings because sales have a direct influence on a product's organic ranking. Therefore, the more sales you have generated by PPC ads, the more it will positively affect your product's search ranking. And this outcome is especially important for new products. New products usually lack a sales history and therefore performance data, which in turn negatively affects search ranking. Amazon PPC can change that by driving traffic to the product listing and thereby boosting sales. Now, there are two types of PPC campaigns you can run. One is called automatic targeting and the other is manual targeting. And the difference is in automatic targeting, Amazon determines which search queries to show your product listing. In a manual targeting PPC campaign, I would choose which keywords search to show in a product listing. Now, it's a good idea to run an automatic targeting campaign when you start out with PPC and then you let it run for a week or two in order to get some real reports and data on what people are searching for to find your product and which of those terms are converting well. Once you have this information, you can feed it into a manual campaign. When I first started out, I only used automatic targeting PPC campaigns. And in this module, that's what I'm gonna show you. Later, if you need help setting up a manual campaign, I can coach you on an individual basis as requested. But fortunately, there aren't many campaign rules that you need to set up, which makes this process very easy. And all you do is enter your campaign name and budget to start. Amazon effectively decides what keywords and match types are bid on at the bid price you set, based on the information it gets from your product listing. Okay, let's create your first Amazon PPC campaign. It's super simple to create an advertising campaign on Amazon, which is good because you can create one before your morning coffee gets cold. However, you want to make sure you follow certain steps so that you don't have money leaking out of your account. Every penny counts when you're working towards your bottom line. Now, first, we're going to log into your Amazon seller account. At the top of the navigation bar, you're going to see the word advertising and hover your mouse over that and the drop down menu will appear and then you'll click on campaign manager. On the next page, you're gonna be taken to a place where it says create campaign. So go ahead and click on create campaign. The next page, you will have to select between two different types of campaigns, sponsored product or sponsored brands. You're gonna go with sponsored products and hit continue. Now you're about to create your first campaign. The first field to complete is the campaign name. Personally, I set up a unique campaign for each different category of products I sell. For example, home decor would be a category, or kitchen, or jewelry. So it's probably easiest to follow my lead and name your campaign after the product category your item falls into. So for example, uh, we were doing the mantle clocks. So in the campaign name, I would put something like home decor. The next step is your start date. And you can let that stay at the default, which is your current today start date. After this is the end date, and the default set is no end date. And so we're going to go to infinity and beyond, my friends, and you can leave this setting as well. Now we're going to go to the daily budget. In your daily budget, this is where you're going to put the limit on how much you will spend for this campaign. Your daily budget is the amount you're willing to spend on a campaign averaged over a month. You can always change your budget later. For this budget, I suggest $75 a day. So we're just going to put $75. 
This is the maximum limit, not the actual amount that you're going to spend on the campaign. And you'll never hit this max anyways. It's better to get as much exposure as possible in the beginning and then refine afterwards. One thing to keep in mind is as long as you are acquiring customers profitably, it absolutely makes sense to continue your ad spend to infinity. I did PPC from the start and I'm still doing PPC now. It's a basic cost of doing business. Seriously, I would trade $2 for $10 any day of the week. For this reason, I think it's more important and helpful to think of your advertising spend as a per unit basis, opposed to evaluating your spend based on an overall budget. And as I had mentioned in the beginning, we're going to start with automatic targeting. And Amazon has set that to your default as well. Okay, now, as you scroll down a bit after you've entered in your campaign name and your daily budget, when you scroll down a little bit, it's going to ask for an ad group name. This is basically a subcategory under your campaign name. For example, if your campaign name was kitchen, then the logical ad group or subcategory would be like bakeware or stemware. So then here in the ad group name subcategory, my primary category is home decor. My subgroup, I'll put clocks. Now you can add products to your campaign and this is what you do. You scroll down a little bit more and then you'll see your list of products. And what you'll do is click on the add button next to the product that you want to add to your campaign. Once you've added all the products that fall into your ad group, you'll finally set your default bid. So scroll down a little bit more. You'll see that field here says default bid. Amazon even tells you what bid and the suggested bid amount should be. So for example, they suggest here that the, for this category and subcategory, the suggested bid is 61 cents and the bid range is between 23 cents and 250. So let's just pick something in between like 75 cents. This just means that's the maximum you're willing to pay. So if the previous person bids only 30 cents, for, for example, and then your bid is higher, that means your product listing will show higher in the search results and higher than theirs. But after a few days, if you're not getting any impressions or views, then the reason might be because your default bid is too low and other people are bidding higher than you. And therefore, that's why your ad isn't showing. So if this is the case, after a few days, I'd recommend upping your bid just a little bit more. Finally, when you're done setting your default bid, you'll click on launch campaign. And that's about all there is to it. See, you don't know what you don't know. And most of the time, once you invest a minimal amount of time to learn a little bit more, you realize it wasn't all that complicated in the first place. Every time you list a new product in your Amazon store, always add it to your PPC campaign. Now you know everything it takes to have a successful Amazon business, from picking and sourcing good products to sell, to going private label and creating the perfect product listing, to sending your first shipment to FBA and learning how to market your products. Congratulations and welcome to the family. In the next and final module, I'm going to share with you the strategies for scaling your business as you grow and then transition from being self-employed to a business owner because you can do anything, but you shouldn't do everything. And you're going to have to learn to delegate down in order for your business to keep rising up. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy selling.